has the last six months been for you? They've been hard, but knowing that God is always with me and he's protecting me and helping me through it makes me be able to get through it easier. Uh, well, one year ago, this little girl, Elena Merrick, was diagnosed with a very aggressive rare form of cancer. The journey she's been on since then has taken many paths. And today, she joins us along with her mother, Carol, a family friend, Michelle Ayers, and a musician, Michael Allen Harrison. Welcome to you all. Thank you for being here. Um, Ms. Elena, you are such a brave girl, and uh, that video, very, very hard to watch. But your battle is coming to an end because you're in remission today. So we want to say hooray for that. Right on. Yeah. There we go. And um, in the video, you talk about how your faith really helped you get here. So what else, though, sort of gave you the strength to keep fighting? Just knowing that so many people were praying for me mm -hmm. and doing things to help support me. Mm -hmm. Well, and I know that you've, you've got an amazing family, too, and um, a little sister named Christine who they're by your side and, and definitely giving you support the way the whole way through and your mom and Michelle and Michael and Harrison now is involved and you've got sort of this team of angels that's helping you right right now yeah. and there's a concert that's coming up soon and we're going to talk about that but Michael if you would mind just playing something for us I today, would love to this, um, that would be great yeah this is called tomorrow's perfect <laughs> Is hopeful in so many ways and so I just Carol from a mother's perspective I can't imagine what this last year has been like for you either um, and there are parents out there that do have to deal with this you know and and watch their children suffer what would be the advice that you would give to a parent that's maybe going through this right now uh, well just pay attention to things mm -hmm. um, uh, Alina has always been very uh, thin and I, I noticed that her abdomen was increasing in size and it it looked odd. It mm -hmm. wasn't like, oh, I had a big lunch. It was puffy mm -hmm. and unusual looking. Distended. So, yeah, so okay. that's what prompted me to take her to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And it was a fluid buildup uh, mm -hmm. caused by uh, the tumor. And uh, we found out she had rhabdomyosarcoma, which mm -hmm. is 
a cancer, less than 300 children a year in this country are diagnosed with, so it's very rare. Very rare. It's mm -hmm. a soft tissue cancer. That's right. And, and it had a very um, aggressive form of treatment. Yes. Which, you know, takes a lot out of a girl, but here she is. She's strong and she's a fighter, so we love that, right? Yes. Yeah. And there's a benefit concert that's coming up. Michelle, if you wouldn't mind telling us more about that. It's happening on April 16th, and obviously it includes Michael Allen Harrison, but some other things as well. Yeah, it's going to be April uh, April 16th mm -hmm. at Cedar Mill Bible Church. Um, Michael has agreed to come and play for us along with Julianne Johnson. She is going to come and sing. Mm -hmm. um, Michael and Julianne have graciously donated their time. Mm -hmm. um, Cedar Mill Bible Church is donating the venue. Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole group of angels um, that are donating their time to organize the event. Um, and the tickets are on sale at Tickets Oregon, and we would love to have, um, we, there's lots more tickets to sell, and 100% of the proceeds are going to the family. We have been able to get a lot of things donated, so we have, have zero overhead. It's amazing. So all That's of the good. money goes to the family. We're lucky to live in a community like this. Um, and Michael, so, you know, what is it about Elena's story that inspired you to get involved? <clears throat> well, you know, uh, I'm inspired any time when somebody gives me a call and just asks me to, to be a part of something mm -hmm. uh, to, um, to help uh, any situation. You know, I, I, um, I didn't know this family mm -hmm. and uh, it was just a call out of the blue and, and uh, I'm available and, and I love to jump in and help. The, the fun thing that I found out yesterday is that Alina's father, Jim, um, he sent me a, a photo Hmm. of us singing together at Portland State University. Oh, I love that. Uh, we were in the, uh, the jazz choir together, hmm. and we had a little gig over at the Galleria, and um, I looked like I weighed 135 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> oh. and, um, and there he was, and I remember, I remember uh, singing with him. And, it's amazing. Uh, I hadn't seen him for, that's like 30 years ago. Well, so <laughs> it all comes full circle. There is yeah, a great background. Yeah, and it really, was really just fun to have that connection. Thank you, everybody, for yeah. participating in this. And, you know, you don't have to attend the concert. If you can't, you can still donate and be a part of this. But, again, tickets are available at ticketsoregon.com. And if you want to follow Alina's story, you go to caringbridge.org slash visit slash Alina Merrick. And I thank you all. And and best of luck to you, my dear. Proud of you. Yep. Keep fighting. All right.